Hello friends, welcome to Circle Time. I am Caroline from the Khan Academy Kids team and I'm here today with my friend Sophie and we are going to do some drawing. Oh wow, hi Caroline, hi friends. I am so excited to be here today for Circle Time with a very special plan to do some drawing and to see some work that our friends have been doing mm -hmm. and all spend time together having fun. That sounds great. Let's start with some of the drawings that our friends have sent us. So this is from our friend Pappy and it looks like an owl and he used some very special techniques here. Friends, can you see some of the details on this drawing? Oh, well, it looks like that to get some texture, which is not just flat color, it's color with shapes and feeling, maybe they rubbed a crayon over a rough surface or something to get something, it almost looks like honeycomb or uh, like a snake skin or a leopard print or some kind of texture. Yes, he put the piece of paper on top of something with some texture and then used right. a crayon to rub it. And so you can see the blue on his face has some little circles. And on the owl's wing on the green side. It is interesting, so creative. And I like how there is texture in some places, but not other places. It's very artistic how it all goes together. That's right. And we have another submission from one of our friends. This is uh -huh. Anna. And can you see what she has drawn here, friends? Oh, well, it looks like she has drawn an olo. Oh, how cool. She looks very pleased with it too. Like she's happy with her drawing. Yes, I think drawing can make us happy many times. Yeah, wow. Well, that's very cool. Thank you, Anna. That is a great drawing. And I'm so glad you shared it with us because we look at all the drawings we get, don't we? Mm hmm And today we're going to draw some of Olo's toys. Oh, cool. Who yeah. is going to help us do that? I think our friend Cody's going to help us. All right, here we go. Hi, everyone. Do you have a favorite toy? My friend Olo has all kinds of cool toys and so many bath toys. Today, I'm going to draw two of his favorite toys a dinosaur and a submarine. Come draw with me. Are you ready? First, start the dinosaur head by drawing an oval shape and leaving it open at the bottom. Then, draw a small circle for the eye. Color in the eye, but leave a tiny circle not colored in. This makes it look like the dinosaur has a sparkle in its eye. Draw the letter U for its smiling mouth. This dinosaur is a Brachiosaurus, which means it has a long neck. Let's draw that next. Draw two curved lines from the bottom of the head like this. Now it's time for the body. Draw a curved line and connect it to the left side of the neck. Then connect it to the other side of the neck with one more curved line like this. Neat! I'm going to draw three spots on the dinosaur's back. You can add as many as you want. Draw a curved triangle shape on the back of the body to show that the dinosaur has a scaly little tail. The legs are last. Draw three rounded rectangles below the body. The fourth leg is hidden behind the others, so don't worry about drawing that one. Awesome! Now the lines are done. Let's color. Olo's dinosaur is purple with orange and yellow spots. What color is your dinosaur going to be? I think this Brachiosaurus is cool 
because of its long neck. Do you have a favorite dinosaur? Cool beans! The dinosaur is done! I'm excited to draw the submarine next. Let's dive right in! First, draw a sideways egg shape like this. This will be the main part of the submarine. The submarine is fun to play with in the water because it has a telescope to peek out from under the waves. We can draw this by adding a rectangle shape to the top of the egg shape and two straight lines coming out above that. At the end of these lines, draw two curved lines going left and connect those with a smaller curved line. Color in the black small oval so you can see out of the telescope. On the back of the submarine, draw its fin. It looks like a fish fin and helps the submarine move through the water. Next are the windows. Draw a big rounded rectangle at the front of the submarine. This is where Olo likes to imagine he sits to steer the ship. For the next window, draw a circle and a smaller circle inside. And for the last window, draw another circle that's a little bit smaller and an even smaller one inside. The lines for the submarine are finished. It's time to add some fun colors. I'm going to use yellow for the main part of the submarine and the top of the telescope. For the bottom of the telescope, I'll use orange. I'm going to use pink around the circle windows. You know what pink circles remind me of? My ears! <laughs> now I'm using light blue for the glass part of the windows. And finally, the tail. I'm going to do something special for this submarine's tail. Using red, or whatever color you like, Draw three arches like this and color in the left side of it. Draw three more arches to the right. Nice! The tail now has a fun design and the submarine is done. I hope you had fun drawing all those toys with me. If you could go on a dinosaur adventure or a submarine adventure, which one would you choose? I'm going to show all of my drawing now. See you soon! That was fun to draw Alo's toys. Alo has lots of different types of toys, including bath toys. <gasps> wow, what kinds of bath toys does Alo have? Well, let me show you his room. She's going to go into the Khan Academy Kids app and show us by tapping on Alo what Olo's room looks like. Hello. This is Olo's room. Tap on the bathtub so we can play with my toys. Oh, I love Olo. <laughs> and these are some of his bath toys in his bathtub. It oh. looks like there's a whale here. And you can move them around. Woo, where did that duck go? And there's even a little Olo toy. That's funny. <laughs> oh, wow. And a turtle. Hippo. Helicopter. Another duck with some funny glasses. Fish. Dolphin. And Whoa. <laughs> and there's the duck and the crab. Wow! So maybe you can look at these toys and you can draw these as well. Oh, that sounds so cool. Thanks, Caroline. I think we might do that. Friends, what do you think you want to draw? Mm, a lot of our friends are saying it was a great idea to draw their toys and they might draw their toys set up in a playroom or in a toy house where all the toys hang out. 
Mm -hmm. um, they might draw their toys going on an adventure, maybe to the beach, mm -hmm. maybe to the mountains for a hike. Uh, maybe they'll draw their toys cooking some lunch or some dinner. There are just so many things you can draw with your toys. So many ideas. Mm -hmm. well, thank you, friends, so much for joining us. And I hope you have a great day creating lots of drawings and doing a lot of playing. And we will see you next time. Goodbye for now from Caroline, Sophie, and the Khan Academy Kids team. Bye-bye. Bye, friends. <laughs>